uh, Tokyo Game Show stuff, but I, I have no idea. <laughs> like, I, I know like the third two, the one thing that I I was aware of, and it was like massive disappointment. So I just was like, I can't, I can't deal with this right now. I tuned everything else out. Uh, let me see if there's like a list of Tokyo Game Show stuff. I don't think so, yeah. I don't remember it being in it. It's not a talent game, it's not a fake game, who cares? Level five, come on, level five. Okay, they did something for Megaton Musashi Wired. Does that include a date? No, this is the trailer that I already saw. Yes. Persona 5 Tactica, whatever that is. Some tactical variant on Persona 5. Why it had to be Persona 5, who knows? Um, who cares about 505 games? Don't care about Hong Kong story. Oh, it really wasn't that much. And I'm not actually seeing the uh, hmm. Oh, I think it's because it's still ongoing. That's why I can't find like a solid summary. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna worry about it then. I'll do it next week. I don't want to care. Sats. All right, we in, we in, we in, we in. Who's long? I said we're in. Oh, get the We're on, Sorry. yeah. Well. Welcome to the the writers of the grid podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome. Changes are coming to the stream. I'm, I'm going to be more consistent, but I say that a lot. But I have a little bit more time now. <sighs> Sadness. Anyway, our jukebox is actually on the way. But until then, we'll have news for you. We got a little bit. So welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. It is... What? Welcome. Uh, uh, Emphasis on the right to level? Say hi to Frag, our old man. Hi to Frag, our old man. Okay, buddy. You and these dad jokes must be stopped. I'm sorry, I can turn them off, I swear. I can stop any time. I don't believe you. I don't have a problem, you have a problem. I don't believe you. I don't want to have an intervention, please! Like I said, our jukebox is on the way, and as your headmaster... You guys have some fun. Transformers... More than meets the eye. And I'm Transformers get... the Headmasters? Yeah? No. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna get beat up. It's been a while since we actually played Gundam, but hey! 
Gundam. I'll try and host those reasonably regularly on Mondays. I'll just do it. In, I'll put it in the event tab so I'm reminded. Remember your armor core skills. Don't remember those. Uh -oh. Whoa. Shit. Yeah, we're playing Gundam for today. It's been a minute. Frag, you can invite the the uh, the Gundam heads if they're. In. I I did. Oh, okay. I'll I can do it again. Oh, as long as you, as long as you did it, it's fine. But anywho, we got a little bit of news for you, and to start off, Hasbro PulseCon happened, I didn't care enough to watch it, but I'll give you what I do know. Besides the uh, Master Morpher Lightning Collection, which is basically Tommy the Morpher with all his forms uh, that he's had throughout the uh, franchise history, I think that has been released. There isn't a light. There is a Lightning Collection for the Omega Rangers, so the Boom Studio original Power Ranger team that is essentially Jason, Zach, Trini. And in this case, there's one blue alien. Ah, she plays Omega Blue. And that was during the time where, you know, the, that trio actually left the show for the peace conference, quote unquote. So, yeah, we got that. And one other thing they did was drop the first little bit of Cosmic Fury. So, you got a little bit of that clip. And that drops, I think, later this week. All ten episodes. Oh, cool. So yeah, Cosmic Fury. Maybe the last PR season we have until reboot. Traditional PR season. So, there's that. I kind of don't care either way. Just don't be douches about it. And that's more to the to the fan base. They know what they did. What do they do this time? Yes. They do that a lot, it seems. Yeah. Between the between the purism, like it's meant like I'm just talking about Toku fans in general. The pure the purest the purisms y'all y'all stop that. Because it's like, it's, and this is on both sides. For for the Sentai fans, y'all y'all stop being goons, and just stop being goons, in people's comments when it's not about the Sentai. Because y'all wouldn't, y'all probably more than likely, at least more than fifty percent, would have not known about Super Sentai if you didn't have a love for PR, and wanted to know about its origins. Let's be real here. And the PR guys, y'all gotta relax. Okay? Just just learn to relax. Well, that's, all, that's all I gotta say to y'all. Other than that, be hyped for Cosmic Fury. Season 30, 10 episodes, and, you know, having a franchise hit 30 years, 30 seasons. No small Pretty feat. Pretty good. Yeah, it's no small feat. Oh no! Oh no! 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 And that's me getting cooked. Um, so let's see what else will we have in terms of news here. So the alchemy rings from 
Kamen Rider Gotchard. Bandai's selling those now. Wow. Yeah. Also, Monster Hunter Sunbreak is like... T- not Sunbreak, but Monster Hunter as a franchise is 20 years old. Can't wait for the next Monster Hunter game to drop. Hopefully soon. Hey, old. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Box. And for Sunbreak fans, uh. our final event is the powerful Amatsu. Oh, that's going to be fun. Y'all got this. Amatsu? Not Amateratsu? Nope. That's probably good. Also, they... <laughs> It, it's um, uh, it's uh, distinct. Yeah. Nah. Also, Monster <laughs> Hunter now has released Donut so, Steel. So, uh, Pokemon Go, but with Monster Hunter. I I also assume Capcom would want to use one of their protagonists as a hunt. So, <laughs> Okami for the win. <laughs> we do have a skin for our Palamut. That's Okami. I have that. Neat. Also have my my uh, Palico dressed as Sonic the Hedgehog, so that's also funny. But yeah, anyway, still a little bit more news, but uh, I'll pass the mic over to Jukebox. I'm not the news nope. guy. Oh, uh, what? Sorry, I am frazzled. Oh. <laughs> uh. uh, I figure we can talk about the Tokyo Game Show stuff after Tokyo Game Show is over. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because so. it's it's like a week. Well, not totally been paid. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a long event. Yeah, that I wasn't planning on covering Tokyo Game Show yet. Okay. Oh, uh, what do we have? What do we have? Um, Tekken beta. I forgot about that. We have Tekken. So sign up for that beta, motherfuckers. What was the other thing? Um, MK1 officially dropped. Not not, not a week ahead of time. Like, actually dropped. So, have fun with that. Woo! That's all I got. Do your best on the Switch version. It, it's trying its best. It's tr- <laughs> it's trying its best. <laughs> don't don't get the Switch version. Just, just don't get it. It's okay. <laughs> all right. But it tries so hard. It's such a good boy. <laughs> it's such a good boy. I don't. I don't blame the switch. It's so. It's. It's. It's the little. The brave little toaster. <laughs> oh. Not I mean, today, kinda, Echo. Is. I mean, it kind of. Have you mean? Have you seen a switch doc? It kind of is a toaster. <laughs> oh no! No, you listen here. <laughs> Yes. Just come at my switch dock like that. <laughs> Mine's a Smash Bros. Oh, uh, all right. Smash Bros. News? What? No, I'm saying mine is the Smash Brothers version. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, we got another poster and another form for uh, the Fies Paradise Regained movie. The last one of the main writers from the series, uh, Common Rider Delta. Um, yeah, they are know. still doing the giant frisbee on the chest aesthetic. That they are. That That's just what they're going for. All right, so how do we rate them? Now, we have all three writers now. How do we rate them? I like Fies. <laughs> Fies. I mean, I basically like all of them. I mean, Delta's but... is basically the same, but it has new top armor. And yeah. Suit, so. Got a lot bulkier shoulder pads. I'd probably go with Fies too, and that's <laughs> partly well, just because I hate Kaiza. So. Well, yeah. He's, he, Kaiza I don't did feel job, that but... Kaiza needed sword tonfas. I don't. I don't think they were necessary. I don't feel that they add anything to his design. I think the giant frisbee on his chest doesn't help him much either. <laughs> I was okay with Fizes until I realized, no, they're just going to do the frisbee thing for all of them. And then I was like, oh, this can stop now. Stopped appealing to me very quickly. It's fine. One frisbee on the chest is the limit. Two frisbee on the chest? Nope. Can't have it. It's, I mean, how are you supposed to play with two frisbees is my question. 
<laughs> True enough. What what game uses two frisbees? Like Tron? What is this? You, you take the Tron. rocks, Frank. That's... Take the rocks. Tron. I don't know. I'm scared of rock. <laughs> rock. I'm more of paper. a I'm more of a jazz guy. Yes, oh, but what beats glass? <laughs> Wait, what beats glass? <laughs> I do. Yeah, I, I thought you were going for the rock paper scissors joke and not the music no. genre joke. <laughs> I'm more of a paper guy or a scissors guy. <laughs> All right, uh, what else have we got? Uh, uh, special year, of course. It's Gaim's 10th anniversary. Yeah. We're getting the CSM Genesis driver. We already <laughs> had this CSM Sengoku driver, so. It's um, it's your your BC whatever that is. Uh, your triangle and X. Um, will do the. Keep me levitate. It's being slashed through for fifty years. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's it's the shieldy bit. Which would the, you, well, yeah, that helped. You, oh, it's automatic. I don't know how to manually. Well, I know how to manually protected. shield, but you're not gonna see me do it. Uh oh. Should have just kept throwing rocks. Let me show you the magic of Christmas. What? He's throwing sand. At I'm gonna make you rattle some chains. Uh, okay. When does that one come out, by the way? The, um, the, uh, Christmas Carol? The what? Metroidvania? Oh, the, uh, the Metroidvania Christmas Carol. Uh, November... I want to say it's early November. My immediate thought is November 3, but I can check it real fast. Uh... I am... What? That's not right. For some reason, Google immediately said, like, July. That's not right. That's not right at all. Well, because Christmas in July. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, actual date is November 3rd. I was cool. That's what it says on Steam, so. No! He's gotten first blood. But you're in giant robots. <laughs> Unless... <coughs> yes. Do they bleed? I guess it depends on the giant. The pilot does. Yeah. <laughs> I already ate Chinese food. You don't need to eat more. I don't know how to feel what about What if your mech is though? like an AI autopilot or something? Then does it bleed? I walked right into that. Oh, Santa, no. Santa, yes. Santa did not save me. Santa, yeah. Okay. okay. I need to stop trying to do that. Alright, so I think other than the CSM Gaim stuff and Gaim 10th anniversary, uh, we got a little bit, they showed off the uh, new sword that Blazar is going to get um, next episode. It has a Christmas ornament in the middle. There is a Christmas ornament in the middle. I'm more surprised that it combines with something. Like, That's are we awesome absolutely like. sure about that? Cause I'm not what? seeing it. Did you look look at the base of the uh, base of the hilt? At the very. I mean, that's just floor. isn't that just for this charging station, so that it can keep making noises? No, these things run on batteries. They run. standard like double AA, A, triple A batteries. They run on I don't know. That's the same sort of. It, that's how it works in show. In show, they run on hope. Um, <laughs> but in our reality, uh, battery. Anyway, getting distracted. Those clips are at the bottom are the same sort of clips they use on, like, uh, I believe, uh, by, not buys, um, revices. That's what it is. Revices, Axe had them, or something similar to them. Um, Whatever combining things. The hammer, revise. There are more combining right things in common art. That's <laughs> I've seen the the point is I've seen that those kinds of clips before on combining weapons in common writer. Zero one, that's the one I was. Zero one zero one. Ugh. I miss zero one two. <laughs> <laughs> 
I miss a lot of writers, yes. All right, anyway. Um, there were some rumors I saw about Boom Boomger. I don't know how true they are if we want to cover well, them at all. Well, we can. I'll just switch it over to the rumor mill. Oh, okay. Rumor time. Um, so what I saw is that kind of pointing to PG's thing a little bit, I guess. Uh, we're kind of doing a uh, three-man band plus two from what I saw. So, like, Free Soldier or uh, any of those other ones that have three-man bands that immediately get plus two. Free Soldier is the one that immediately sticks out in my mind. Uh, I was just gonna uh, colors being red, blue, and pink. Uh, joined by an orange and green, I believe? Or might have been an orange and black blue. and orange, I think it was. Black and orange, okay. But the orange was the one that definitely stuck out, because they hardly ever do orange. Right? Experiment with the colors. Gold and orange could take place of yellow, because sometimes. Yes. Oh, there was never... Okay, back to the not rumor mill. Um, I, for, I forgot there was another bit of Gaim news for the Gaim tenure. Uh, the next figure rise kit will be Gaim. So, huzzah! We're getting uh, the Gaim figure rise standard model kit. Yay, Gaim fans! Boo, <laughs> Kiva fans! Because Kiva gets keeps getting picked last for these for these figure lines. Why? Why do we? Why? I mean, it's a pretty intricate kit, so. <laughs> Oh. They just don't want to make the molds, I guess. Hall? Uh, well. Alright, Echo. <clears throat> I'm going to show you my Quattro Robert Bear Wiener. Wait, what? Oh, not Sandrock. Not Sandrock game. Oh, also speaking of model kits, uh, for the uh, duelists in the audience, uh, figure rice standard Black Luster Soldier! Or just Chaos Soldier, if you prefer. But Black yes. Luster Soldier sounds so much cooler. I'm not gonna lie to you. But that's not his original name. <laughs> oh yeah, but sometimes it just sounds cooler. Was it just Chaos Soldier or was it Black Chaos Soldier originally? Oh, now Black Chaos Soldier changes things. Uh, Black. I think you're thinking of Black Lustful Soldier. Hey, hey. Because he's hey. a love warrior. Hey, 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 that's, that's a Studio sure. Giga production. What are you doing? I mean, I might watch it. This is Studio Giga Yu-Gi-Oh! parody. Oh, no. I mean, they parody everything else. Okay, like it, it was just Chaos Soldier in the original. No, Black. Just Chaos. Just Chaos. No specific reference to color. I'm gonna kill Chaos. Chaos. I hey, did it my hey, way. The Black Luster Soldier was the original Jack. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it was there the whole time. <laughs> the foreshadowing. 20 plus years of foreshadowing. Uh, I'm never going to be able to play a Black Luster Soldier deck now. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> yes, you will. Just call it the Jack deck. <laughs> oh. Alright, I think I want to say that's it. We didn't have a lot of news this week. From what I remember... <gasps> That's not good. Uh-oh. Wait a minute! Uh -oh. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> People be dying. Well played. I am Sandrock Custom. He showed me... His... <clears throat> no, I already made the joke. It doesn't matter. I don't have to do it again. <laughs> oh. His tiny Quattro Robert Berwiener. He's a small boy. Also, I guess, leads a bunch of, you know, Arabic soldiers for some reason. He does the jihad. I don't know. I, Wing is dumb. Sometimes in a good way, often in a why does this exist way. But the soundtrack is 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that hit. Oh, well, here we go. I see. 
What you see that I don't see. Uh, Echo, did you already talk about Sonic stuff? No. Yeah, we done a lot of Sonic stuff, but we got a, uh, I guess, prequel cartoon? Yeah! For uh, Sonic Superstars? Trio of Trouble? What, what did we get? I didn't hear it. it was a prequel cartoon. A prequel yeah, the Trio of Trouble. I think that Echo posted in for the, Sonic Superstars. Discord a couple days ago. Yeah. It was, it's more villain focused, so we get to see Fang, Eggman, and Trip, I think that's what they're called. Okay. I don't think they're a villain. I just think they're stuck working along the Eggman. Isn't he the villain from Kirby Squeak Squad? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, we see them exploring a cave and, you know, Eggman, when it comes to mystical things that he can use and abuse with the power of science, he will do that. All to take down a hyper-fast hedgehog. And rule the world. <laughs> I love how taking out the hedgehog is first. Then rule the world. <laughs> well, like, you can't rule the priority. world with Sonic in the way. No, yeah, you might be able to. <laughs> no, no, you can't. He's tried before. Well, he has. I don't know. Someone, I'm sure some other villain could come along and... And then Do he'll... things that Sonic doesn't care about. <laughs> well, man, they that would mean they'd have to like come up with a new villain, though. And uh, mm. the last time they did that was well, Eggman what just Kirby, to... the the Kirby RPG. <laughs> I mean, Kirby that Sonic RPG uh, by BioWare that nobody liked. Well, uh, well, they're Sonic? just they're just gonna team up with sure. Eggman at that point, and Eggman's just gonna be like, yeah. You betray me, I'm betraying you back. All right, Sonic, let's go. Well, you, the standard plot of Sonic games nowadays is there is a new bad guy, and at the very end... So it looks like it's Eggman at first, but then it's like, oh, it's not really Eggman, it's this other dude. That Eggman may or may not have unleashed upon the world. And that's, and a, have that's essentially back. what may or may not happen in Superstars going by what's been hinted at in said cartoon. You should watch it for yourselves. It's right. really good. I mean, they, they have to make it stick for it to count, though, so. <laughs> the and they have not done that yet. Oh, no, he's gonna, they, they're no. definitely gonna get beaten and killed off, more than likely. The new bad guy? Yeah, the... the old bad guys? Never. Yes, the, yes. Must also, have... the heroes have to have, like, a wharf effect moment, so. Indeed. So Knuckles will probably get bopped because, because Knuckles has to get bopped, I guess, by someone strong. Well, seeing as how it's like all four of them together, Next. we may or may not let them all get super forms for once. Who knows? I doubt it. Probably gonna. Go I little... think that's just in Knuckles' contract. Every time Knuckles, Knuckles is like, okay, I have to get bopped in the first act of the game. That literally just has to happen for me to be in it at all. <laughs> I don't know why Knuckles let them put that into the contract. Knuckles, uh, yeah, Knuckles doesn't read. They offered him bananas. He likes grapes, man. I don't know what fruit he likes. Grapes, What man. fruit does he like? Does... Grapes. grapes. He likes grapes? Okay, yeah. they offered him grapes. Yeah. Yeah, grapes. Tired of you blasting me. So, yeah, anyway, watch the Trio, trio of Trouble special. It's pretty nice. They're also getting a prequel comic because they did that with their other games. Yay. So, yeah. Check yeah, that out. I think everything else is probably... And then, uh... Oh, they did show off the uh, multiplayer trailer, so you get a little bit more in-depth on how that works. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, <laughs> you're gonna design an Eggman robot. Yay. That's, that's... Knuckles and Amy's Amy do not look as terrifying as the Tails one. The Tails oh. one is definitely most terrifying. Well, yeah, the ter the Tails one is like be not afraid tier. <laughs> 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 like that's it's like okay. Yeah. So... <laughs> There's something very wrong here. So alright, so Metal Sonic is, you know, Metal Sonic, but he's chibi. Because, you know, it's the classic era, so it's Kid Sonic. Right. 
Yeah, so he's he, Metal Sonic gets the upgraded for him, and when we see him again in Heroes, so he's taller. So let him be short. It's not a big deal. Thank you. Oh, people were complaining about yes, Metal Sonic. People, what, what, don't, what don't people complain about? <laughs> Especially in the Sonic fandom, am I right? Right, right. At, at this point, it's PR fandom. At this point, uh, it's fandoms in general. You can't yeah. please anyone exactly, anymore. Yeah, yeah oh, I feel you. Well, on the up downside, I don't know how you want to look at it. PR is going to be on a hiatus for a couple of years, so that's not going to be fun. At least a year, from what I've heard. Yeah, that's still not fun. Uh, good old strikes, right? Yeah. And knowing uh, who who's in control of them now? Hasbro. Still Hasbro. That's still Hasbro. Okay. Well, knowing Hasbro, if it were Saban, it'd be even more. They're not gonna even. They're mm-hmm. not gonna capitulate because Haim so Saban be- is. Whoo- like um, I, 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 there's, there's 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 questionable uh, people of questionable moral. Uh, <laughs> Moral turpitude, and then there's Haim Saban, and uh, oh, what's his face from uh, Harmony Gold? They were both actually oh, like your oh, yeah. yeah. friends. Uh, they were buds, which is how you know they're both slime. <laughs> I will, I will give Saban this. At least, bro will advertise. Oh, good God, yes. Like, Harmony Gold doesn't even bother. Harmony Gold is such a trash company. I'm so, I'm so pissed. Like that that's all I, I wanna say on that. Like it's even if Saban seasons were garbage tier, bro. Do bro would advertise garbage tier so we know it exists. Yeah. People would watch it because they knew it existed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand the internet's a place, but like, yo, advertise on the internet at least. Let us know it exists. Anyway. <laughs> Right, Bandai? That that said... <laughs> so, yeah, we got a... Bandai a Namco of, specific. Oh, absolutely, Bandai. Uh, we got a taste of the... That's how the multiplayer is going to be. It's going to be three mini games or, like, three little... Not three little. But three different modes that you just cycle through. And the winner at the end uh, has yeah. the most points. Uh, yeah, they win. You will be, you'll be the, uh, you know... Bad Nick, that I guess, you know, Eggman will like. And then get immediately destroyed, because you're a jobber. <laughs> but you can unlock different and various pieces, because our robot is, I guess, quote-unquote a prototype. But, yeah, you'll be able to unlock... Do they, um, do the parts do anything different, or are they just cosmetic? Do we know? Eh, more cosmetic than anything, so you can make your own That's, little robot. Okay. That's excellent. I like I'd be okay with abilities being different based on what components you have, but that adds a, another layer of that would, complexity and and prob and balancing issues that just isn't worth the effort. Yeah, especially in superstars, that's not even the, the <laughs> meat and potatoes, you know. But yeah, that's that's essentially it. And you can unlock parts for, you know, like I said, Metal Sonic Metal Amy, which is just pink Metal Sonic with a little little uh, exhaust thing in front of her head. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Metal Tails, which now exists. Bro got Turbine Tails. So, yeah. Little, little motors. Yeah. And, and Metal Knuckles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. And Metal Knuckles makes a, a turn from... A return from... Sonic R after so many years. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Sorry, my Metal Sonic glory is missing. I was like, he appeared before? Okay, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, that's our multiplayer. So Have fun with it. I know I am, and if I get it on PC, I'm challenging Frag all the time. Ooh. Well, you should. I will show you that I uh, am the superior badge. I guess no word on crossplay yet, then. No. But I doubt. Assume it's not. In, but right. if anyone's gonna do it, it's probably Sega. That said, I, I mean, will buy the guitar. I didn't know. What it 
especially not when I was going to get bopped like that. Sailor San, no! Yeah. Sailor, why didn't you give Amaro a locket? Hmm? Huh? Now he's dead. People see you guys coming in and want to join in. <laughs> well, this, well, if we get people in, we'll change it to from 1v1, then, you know. So. Yeah, I mean, I sent yeah, invites, so... Asking if it's going to stay 1v1. Yeah, it'll, it'll be more than that. You know, it's been a minute. I'm getting cooked right now. All right, you heard him, Zen. <laughs> No. Oh. Also, uh, Storm Shock is asking in. Uh, oh, that was oh. clean. Oh, we're gonna die, Frag. <laughs> what? That's what? People are asking, people are joining, and we're gonna die. Okay. I have gone into debt enough to put my brain in a box and pilot a oh, robot before. Storm are in again. the lobby. Oh, oh, good. We're gonna get <laughs> cooked. Oh god. Okay, yeah, fine. If there's here. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go make the two v two room. We're gonna get cooked. Don't yell at me. It's been. They're right there. I yeah. See them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you're making the 2v2, mm -hmm. right? This is yeah, I wish I could do it from the lobby. That would be convenient. But So don't, don't yell at me, guys, for, you know, getting my butt handed to me. I haven't played this in so long. I don't know. You, you're you getting there. I mean, having to play both Zedja and Storm is like, I don't know. <laughs> it's a bad thing here. It's it's we're, it's like we're you, playing the upper you, you echelon have, you, of Gundam Gundam fighters. It's okay. You're 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 having a quick gander at that cactus, thinking, "I wonder what that fits into," and then realizing you do not have lube. <laughs> Where like can I put this in my room? The immovable object reconciled our differences and teamed up to take you down. <laughs> yes, uh, they very much were like, "Yeah, nah." You offended the immovable object, and the unstoppable force just doesn't like you. Yeah. <laughs> look, don't look, listen. Didn't like. He doesn't like your smell. He says you should shower. I don't know. Says Sweat Lord number five hundred seventy-two. <laughs> listen here, Sweat Lord five seventy-two. All right. I think that was all of them. Okay. That was my cat. That was my well, I, I think we're done with news, Echo. Where do we want to uh, go to are next? We? Oh, okay. I, uh, I don't have any other news. I was solid. <laughs> oh, that was it? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yo, shout out to Morio Kishimoto and the gang at Sega for winning a reward for uh, Sonic Frontiers. Oh. Yeah! That DLC drops this week. Hey. We're, we're going to cook. Oh, that's right. That is Let's out. Go. Or soon. That's Within right. Four days. We oh, have four wait, days I did left. have one more piece of, of news I forgot about. My bad. Uh, Ultra Replica of Mebius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Ultra Replica of Mebius thing. Ultra Reverse Edition? That's what it says. Okay. So, neat. Uh, there was the... There was an Ultraman Mebius uh, and the Ultra Brothers movie. Yes. So. Ah, so I assume this is referencing that. I guess. I don't know my Ultra Lord that well, sorry. I I've got to get you to watch Mebius. Mebius was good. Mm. Mebius is actually, like, on my list of Ultras. I, that I, I think I think you'd probably Mebius. dig it. If you're liking Blazer, I think you'll like Mebius. Oh. Except there are callbacks to Ultra. Oh, Jesus. Frag, well, I'm sorry. we've got this. What am I? I didn't see what suit I was. Oh, I might be a good one. It's a one in three. Oh, uh, yeah, um... Mm. I'll see you later, buddy. Oh, it's the one I can use. Nice. I, I don't think I can use this one. I, I should have made this a free room, not a uh, not a shuffle. That way, they could team up against us every time. You know what? That's fine. I'm I'm not scared of it. I'll do it. Oh, and I guess last little bit. 
is like if you miss Geo stuff, if you missed uh, Common Rider Geo and you want some Geo uh, toys, there. Uh, excuse me, like Holy Diver? Hey, 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 I miss it. <laughs> I already got my Common Rider Geo stuff, my, my uh. Geo collections. I can't use this one. I I don't know how to use this one. High noon in the shadow of the wizard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, are we talking about common rider D I O? No. No. Oh, Geo. That's lame. Geo. See, I was very excited, and I was making Dio references, <laughs> and I was getting like hahas, and I was like awesome. There's a common rider Dio, and 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 now I've been let down. The world, though. <laughs> I got cooked. I'm sorry, buddy. I mean, buddy. if you go nah, you're good. Way, there's a couple of guys you could consider common rider Dio. Cronus, regard. Frank, take it off um, shuffle. I, I we're we're gonna do this. We got we. I got something to prove. We're gonna do this. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do that from here? Or do I have to remake? I might have to remake. Oh, room settings, there they go. Uh, no, I think I have to remake. Shit. Listen, bro, it's not that bad teaming up with me. Look, if it... If I'm not it, saying it is. What's, what's, what's the problem? Look, I know, you probably want to win one. Just no, one. No, I'm good. No, I'm, uh... Listen, man. <laughs> listen, man. I, take, I, took my, I took my bioflavonoid. I took my root and supplements. I got my toilet paper made out of sandpaper. We've got this. It's artisanal. <laughs> listen, listen. It's okay. All right. Ooh, okay. It's that heavy grit. Uh, uh, shoot. Oh, oh. I should have. I should have paid attention to what you were picking. We can do the team up. It's all right. It's all right. No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll do, all right. So now I'm officially ups. done with news. So. Yeah, Godalatan. It's time. We we. Can... Oh God. <laughs> oh God. This is fine. He's this just gonna fine. do the slow ascent combo. And while he's doing it to you, I'll be getting pummeled from six directions by the RAF, and uh, and and we'll get nothing done. It's fine. You're right. You're right. It's oh, wait, fine. He's it's going after me, isn't it? That was not the right way. I should have used my assist. Here it is. Oh, there was also bad stuff that happened this week. I forgot about that. We, we don't talk about that. Do we not talk about uh, corporations being corporations? No? Okay. No. I'm, I'm not in the mood to talk about the uh, right stuff discotheque thing. I'm absolutely not. All or right. the right stuff crunchy roll thing. I just don't have the energy. I will just be angry, and I don't need to be angry. That sounds fine. But wait, wait. You're fighting. Are you sure the anger won't help you? No, it, it won't. <laughs> okay. It, ang sometimes, you know, getting angry helps people in their, in their <laughs> fights. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends I think on I just are. killed you. No, you didn't. That's bad. Watch out. I don't know why I'm trying to melee that thing. That's a mistake. No! Uh, that was also a mistake. I landed. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So suffice it to say, uh, right stuff is uh, has been subsumed by Crunchyroll, and Crunchyroll is eradicating them. It's uh, they're gone. They will be no more. So the only way you're going to realistically be able to get physical media of the anime nature is. Uh, uh, basically through Crunchyroll or Amazon, and uh, I hate both of those. So those what I'm hearing, both suck. So what I'm hearing is they're under Sony. Ooh. Uh, what's even worse, however, is that Crunchyroll is doing away with the live-action library that uh, Right Stuff had in its entirety. They are not going to be doing any more live-action uh, physical releases of any kind. So, was there an update mostly... on that, by the way? Uh, something new beyond like two, three days ago? Not that I've seen, but I haven't looked because I've been too depressed about it. Mm. Frag, I heard you mention stopping me while I did the ascent combo, so I had to do it to you. From Storm. Oh. Uh... 
They're listening, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, we know. <laughs> Oh, I forgot which one I was for a minute. Uh, all right, so we're out of news now. Officially, officially, officially. Well, yeah, no, we are. <laughs> Other than Bandai Namco ruining Sinduality Echo of Ada, but I'm not going to talk about that either until we get to the oh. Tokyo Game Show stuff. Okay. Because they were just like, you know, it would be a great idea. Let's take this uh, single-player survival, mecha survival title, and now turn it into a PvE VP game. And uh, also delay its release date, uh, because we're completely changing the scope of the game. And, uh, hey, get fucked. And I'm just like, alright, cool. I guess I will. Oh, sorry. Did they not see what Armor Core 6 just did? Or... But I feel like Single-player survival mech games. We just had Armor Core 6. I mean... Here's uh, that's not Bandai? It's not, but it's still doing well, isn't it? Right, but we could have had two. I, that's what I'm saying. Why is Bandai and instead we well? don't. I, I'm wondering why Bandai... Also, PvE VP was... games blow. Extraction shooters hey, suck so hey, much. Hey, Jukebox, keep them distracted. I did good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were fighting Frag that time. <laughs> uh, like, Tarkov? Fuck Tarkov. What an ass game for ass people who hate having fun. Alright, we gotta move on to the superhero time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm gonna show you my. But destiny. before we do that, let's talk kaiju time. I'm blue with G -G -G Gamera. Ah, yes, Gamera free. He loves kids platonically. I'm, I'm glad you 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 did that. <laughs> All right, uh, basic synopsis: Gamera gangs on a boat. Boat gets attacked. They go back on land. Gamera shows up and's like, no. Uh, turns out Junichi is a girl. There we go. <laughs> that was the big reveal of the episode. Junichi <laughs> being a girl. Turns out our Izzy was a girl this entire time. That threw everyone off. And it, I didn't. I meant to give me this. This isn't a surprise. The only person this is a surprise to is Brody. Brody's the only one who is surprised. And Brody's Brody, so. So no one was surprised by this. <laughs> In show, anyway. Oh, it stinks. It stinks! Oh, we got a... Thanks oh, for the follow. Oh, that's a full bodyguard. Thanks for the hey. follow, Madison Lanford. Appreciate you. <laughs> Welcome to here. Is it Lan or Ian? Uh, like, is it... Like you hold, I don't know. Listen, thanks for the follow, Madison. <coughs> I, I apologize for whatever I just said. This will be fun. Yeah. And by fun, I mean I'm gonna get my butt kicked continuously. But uh, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> we're in, we're in speaking Toku and uh, <coughs> Gamera. Yes. Um, so episode three, it it was fine. It's not my favorite of the episodes so far. It honestly was pretty um, weak compared to the previous. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I, I say this as a fan of like oh deep sea tension, you know, submarine trapped underwater, waiting for the hounds closing in, and it just it did not really deliver. Well, it was really only that for like two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> it was pretty short. <laughs> Otherwise, it was Gamera Gang on a boat. Yeah, and that one guy Just had doing, claustrophobia. Doing boat. The one guy was did not want to go on a submarine. <laughs> He's like, "Oh no, oh no! I've seen these. I've seen the submarine movies. I I know how this ends. Not good. That's how it ends." Also, they somehow managed to run a submarine ashore, like 
way ashore. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was, uh, was pretty impressive. Not just like on the beach, but like in the in the drive in the road or the parking lot of the beach, like completely past the ocean. Ugh. Also, uh, turns out Brody's twelve. That was another revelation here. This is true. That Bro was... built like he's fifteen. And he's twelve. I don't. I don't understand. Listen, man. He's being the American that the Japanese say you should be. <laughs> Uh, which is to say, he's 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 accepted his destiny to save the world. Oh. Yep. Okay. Also, like to sell hamburgers, I guess. <laughs> uh. Oh, and also, uh, Brody's buddies may or may not be dead because other children who have had encounters with kaiju have been attacked. They may have gotten off screens. Which is good? Question mark? Depending on your stance on <laughs> those characters we met for all of like five minutes, maybe. Oh, no! Oh. I saw it, but it was too late. Man, you're making me work out here. Uh... Yeah, it was, it was fine. I didn't hate it. Yeah, it was it it's still <laughs> like our our kaiju of the week, and we're saying week because we're gonna review it weekly until the Buzzy. end of the show. Yeah. Uh, uh, Zyger, right? Zyger was his name. Was Zyger. yeah. Bro died Zyger in one shot. Or whatever. Oh yeah, he like got a love bite on his shoulder and then <laughs> goes ashore and just gets play. lit on fire and dies like the, immediately. The way the camera gave him a little hickey and then it's just you know death later. On. I'll stop. Breathed garlic breath on him, and he was like, "Ah, oh, I'm out. Peace." Compared real. to the previous Honestly, two fights, kind of looked like Yammer was surprised by that. Yeah, <laughs> he did too. He was like, <laughs> he was like "Oh, that's okay, that's it." Just like, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> I okay. I guess I'll leave. Like the <laughs> the past see, two fights. See? Oh goodness! Like those were Gamma had to work. Guess not. Not this one. Right. Uh That's fine. Alright. Where to next? Into superhero time, I suppose. Yes, Back it is now superhero time. Or we can do Blazar. It's technically not part of superhero time. You know, close enough. But it's superhero time for us. Yes. Where are we going? Uh we can we can jump to Blazar. I ain't I ain't tripping. Alright. Da 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 Ultraman Blazar. Okay, so confession time uh, for regular listeners. Uh, we skipped an episode. Whoops, my bad. Uh, so briefly covering that one. Uh, episode nine was the one we skipped. The music episode. Why? <laughs> we skipped the music episode. I honestly forgot it existed. I'm gonna be real with you. Ah, uh, I mean. I mean, it did end rather abruptly, so. <laughs> uh, basic synopsis, I guess. Uh, turns out Honoré is this fan of, like, this performing, like, classical group. It's, like, five-man classical group that just goes around performing music. I didn't mean to shoot you, I'm sorry. Uh, turns out they're actually aliens who came here to pillage the planet. But they didn't because humans created music. They like music. They were like, damn, that sounds really good. I want to make... we Let's make music, boys, for the next 60 years while our giant robot gets here. I shot uh, my Then the giant robot I'm gets so here. Sorry. Ultraman fights it while the band plays in the background, which, mwah, great touch. Uh, all of it is Ultra Q music. This whole thing is really just a love letter to Ultra Q. Uh, That's if what I'm it not looks mistaken. like. Yup. Yeah. It's really good. So they do that, uh, Ultraman blows up the monster, and then the aliens die? Like, Honoré comes to stop them, um, and they, and she shoots one of them, and then the curtain falls, and that's, 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 that's the end of the show, that, right there. Yeah. Roll Literally credits. The falls and that's dead. There's, Cold there's no other epilogue to that. It's theater. Yeah. I literally said I roll credits, it. and the credits were rolled right there, so was, that was hilarious. 
I mean, honestly, just for me, it's probably one of my favorite episodes so far of Blaze. Oh, it's a it's it's a good episode. Episodes like that are. Uh, I, my one complaint is that it ended really abruptly. Right, I was really kind of into it. I was going to see the aftermath, but I guess not. Just one extra scene of epilogue would have been great. It's fine. Um, and then, honestly, that might be it for what we cover for Blazar because it really feels like the current one is a two-parter. Am I wrong? What if, we got it, it, yeah, that one's a two-parter. Yeah. So the only episode of Blazer is the one we missed. So. Yeah. That worked out. All right. In which case, we move on to. Question mark. Uh, whichever one you prefer. Um. I guess Gotcha. We'll save. We'll save the best for last. <laughs> King Oger is peak. <laughs> is peak Oger. King Oger is always peak. Um. Okay. So. Gotcha! Episode 3. So... Okay. So Gotcha is, like, officially a part of the Academy now. He's training to be an acro to be an alchemist. He has, like, his thing. Um, that's Ooh. gonna be his main thing for most of the episode. Um, we meet our monster of the week, who is uh, Crazy Mushroom Man. Don't know why he's crazy. Ooh, I'm coming ready, right Echo. I'm so bad. I'm so sick of y'all. Fight me, Echo. <laughs> um, I think he just did. <laughs> well, no, because because listen, he's not the only one who says that to me. Okay. So many people be like, "Yo, listen, <laughs> listen." This man's out here being like, "I'm trash." Comes first on the scoreboard, like it was nothing. He gets no, in the zone because no. he's thinking about Ultraman. Listen, Zen is... <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I empty my mind, okay, and that happens. So <laughs> long as you can do it right now, awesome. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not gonna that happen. Up? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> wait, are you saying that Echo is secretly that uh, Garamond or whatever it is, the music robot? Uh, controlled by music. <laughs> why? The one episode of Blazer we were talking about. <laughs> I Listen. don't understand. Uh, sorry, Frank, I can't You know, him. he empties his mind and lets someone else control him, specifically the music, listening to Eldrin Blazar. <laughs> I mean, he's a robot. I just lost the beam struggle. I... Sad. <laughs> oh, by the way, Zen uh, put out a call on the Discord. Oh, yeah, we saw it. <laughs> he's not we were gonna die. We're coming. Oh, Echo got run over by the wheel. Oh, that was the wrong button. I'm not having that. Echo is still fighting a wheel. I'm taking one. I don't care. Echo did it. I think. I'm Who taking two. Oh. Frank, did the I kill you? Back. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Wheels back. I don't know. We did really well. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was a good match. That was legitimately tight. Uh, you did better than I did. Uh. All right. The Gundam will gotcha. Gundam will return, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> but Frank's in charge of it. Oh no. Back to Gotcha. We meet our crazy man, uh, mushroom guy. I don't know why he's crazy. He just doesn't like people laughing. That's that's all we get. I, he, I guess he's a failed comedian. He didn't have it be, to be a busybody in his life. That's more backstory than they given the episode. <laughs> yeah, it's more backstory than he got. So he, sure, that's because he didn't have a busybody named Icky from Revice to like get in his business and be hey man. <laughs> Go back to being funny, you know. Don't hate laughter. Okay, so we got that, uh, we meet our two new, um, uh, the other two students, uh, Suruhara Subimaru, who talks through his, uh, iPad, only talks through his iPad, and then Icho Renge, uh, who is 
for some reason wearing a takoyaki hat with a tentacle. Um, I, her gimmick seems to be just wearing some random hat and gloves uh, for per episode. Because in spoilers for the next episode, she's wearing like a tiger hat. So I guess that's just her thing. They're going to be our alchemy comic relief duo, I guess. We'll see if they have any relevance beyond that. Probably not. <laughs> Uh, but no, anyway, teacher shows up and he's like, all right, students, your your year long project is apparent is going to be catching all 101 camis. Now go out and do it. And Hotoro is like, I've already got some. Look at my hands. I got all these. I want more. Please give me more. Shit. Preferably your moodiest one. I don't want to be angry. And Hotoro is just like, and Minato, the pref professor, is just like, all right. You asked for it. Here you go. This is a samurai. Apare Bushido. Here's a samurai for you. Make friends with him. Bye. Uh, so they all split up. Rene captures the pirate monster. Yay. No! She has a flashback where she's sad about her dad. Because that's just her character. <laughs> oh my god. They showed up in the kill shot. That's so <laughs> awful. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Ugh. You had that too. It's like, I'm defending him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I missed my fault. alt. No, I missed my alt. That's why it was terrible. That's why I tried to make up for it All as right. fast as I could. Anyway, uh, Monster of the Week shows up. Uh, Hopper one leads Hotaro straight to it, and he's like, "All right, we're ready to we're ready to fight." And he's about to use uh, the combo Hopper one plus Opera Bushido, uh, but Opera Bushido is just like. No, no, I'm gonna slice you. And he, Abre Bushido summons a sword, tries to slice Hotaro. Hotaro manages to catch it somehow. I guess he's skilled for that. <laughs> but he tries fighting anyway and gets immediately rolled. Uh, Gotchard is not, not tanky. Yeah, he's not tanky at all. So he gets poisoned. Uh, thankfully, though, uh, the Alchemy Academy has an antidote specifically for the mushroom monster. Because reasons. <laughs> it's because complicated backstories and nonsense. But hey, it's convenient. But H Otero wakes up. He's like, "All right, all right, my samurai. Buddy. I'm got. Gotta sh we're we're gonna be friends. So help me God." Uh, so he immediately goes to the nearest samurai dojo, or kendo dojo, and just starts practicing. He'll be my friend if I'm good at sword fighting. Yep, definitely. But while he's doing that, uh, a random acoustic, acoustic, uh, acoustic, acoustic, tick, acoustic. There acoustic. We go. That's how you say that word. Acoustic. Yes. Acoustic. Acoustic guitar starts playing. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. That's not funny. Damn it. I've had those days. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's I'm... not your fault. <laughs> Acoustic? Is that the word? Acoustic? I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at, like, I just had a day yeah, like that. It's. It's A C. Uh, o U. STIC acoustic. Yes, there, there you yeah. go. I was acoustic, like, yeah. Okay. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say right now. Anyway. Yeah. You know, the thing that Hayakawa Ken would use. Yes. Unfortunately, it is not Hayakawa Ken. It is. We've all had those uh, moments, you're right. Names we don't know yet. It is some random guy who is an alchemist. And the guy is like. Uh. It's just, there must be some mistake. You can't be a common writer. I'm here to correct that mistake. Give me a belt. And Hotro's like, no, I'm not going to do that. And, he, and uh, Mysterious Man, I'll just say it's Kurogani Spanner because he named himself. He's like, okay, I'll fight you for it. And Hotro gets beaten down. Ugh. And he's like, so will you give me a belt now? No, I got to make friends with all the Kemis. Kemis aren't friends. Kemis are tools. No, I refuse. No, Said I the tool. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I mean that in every sense of the word. Oh, no, absolutely. 
And Kuragane uh, Spanner obviously points out, Look, I saw your last fight, dude. Your, the Kami tried to kill you with a sword. Slice it right for you. And Hotaro was like, uh, that's not, it wasn't his fault. It, it was my fault. I, I swung the sword at my, my heart was weak or something like that. It's like, dude, you, you can blame the Kami. Like, <laughs> you don't need Stockholm Syndrome or whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. I should have stayed locked on Echo. <laughs> <laughs> that would have blocked the experience. No, because if I killed my teammate before you died, I would have turned the game off. I'm not going to lie to you. Says the man in first place, dominating. <laughs> Shut up, Frank. I'm Number bad at the game. To, uh... He's not. He's not. <laughs> Opera One pops out to defend uh, Hotaro. Uh... But then immediately gets bopped because, you know, it's a two-foot-tall grasshopper. I'm honestly being carried right now. They got the skill. I'm just uh, And then Hotaro's like, no, you can't you can't hurt the Kevi. You can't hurt my friend. He's our Pikachu. We need him. Yeah, you can't we hurt him. We need him to tell all the merch. <laughs> yeah, he's our uh, Pikachu. And then slash Amara Bushido Karibo. sees this and it's like, yes, I now I will give you fans. Here is all the fans. This is a sign of my approval, I guess. Here, are more fans. Um, and then Spanner sees that and is just like, "All right, I guess I guess you have fans now. I'm out." <laughs> he he just walks off. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Kurikani Spanner is allergic to fans. I think I think that might be it. <laughs> it I mean, for all the reasoning we were given, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he just like pieces out. It's like. And that's how the scene ends. It's just done. And we move on to, oh, Monster of the Week is causing trouble. And Rene's there to stop him. Also the professor. For some reason, I guess. Because he's out there too, hunting, I guess. You gotta collect them camis. I'm I sorry, collect Frank. Them all. Nah, you're good. I don't know how to Barbie. I Rene don't know how to play the game. So pirates. To, uh, it really bugs me that it's a pirate one, but its official name is Pilots. <laughs> You Pilates. Know, that's just how it sounds. So she uses his pilots to like make a little musket. That's neat. To shoot it. But they don't really stop it that much because, you know, they're not the main rider. Main rider's gotta go up. And go into a new form. A Pareskibo. Hopefully she gets the rider belt to become a secondary. Do not Kiriko her. Do not Kiriko her, please. Goes up. Acts badass for half an episode and immediately gets kicked into a wall and stops. All right, we don't <laughs> need that. Oh. Love Kirika. Oh, I'm thinking of I'm I'm talking about the wrong character. I'm talking about the one from uh, Gio. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Listen, Tsukiyomi or whatever. Su yeah, Tsukiyomi was just the Tsukiyomi. Thank you. Did they, they didn't know what to do with her? They didn't. They ain't know what to do with Gates either, bro. I had to redo his character development. <laughs> like, like the suit guys, the toy and suit guys came up to the writing staff and like, hey, so we made a writer suit and stuff for uh, Sukiyomi. She gets to be a writer now. And the writers are like, what? Nah, yes, yeah, she do. Who? What? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's probably a better question. Who? Who? Who is this Sukiyomi character? <laughs> You're the writers, don't you know? No, we don't. The only uh, character in this show is uh, Tokiwa Sogo. Huh? Oh, no, I'm not the writer for this week. That was the leather guy. You might want to talk to him. <laughs> You're right. Uh, that was anyway. awful. What, what was this? Anyway, back to Gotchard. So, Aparis Kibo, uh, I'm sorry. we Frank. get that form. Nah, it was my not your fault. Thing. He pulls out what is currently my least favorite common rider weapon ever, the Gachar Tornado. I don't like that thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's I would like it if it had oh. any details on it at all. What is it again? If it yeah. wasn't two bricks of orange plastic. The the, the V-shaped thing. Yeah. The yeah. Batleth. I mean, bow and arrow. I mean, oh, that's curved it. sword. Yeah, I, I don't like it. It's, it's just so flat. Yeah. And chunky and brick like. Exactly. He's got a. Hey, like he, you can see him like, because they actually made the 
the toy mimic the or the prop mimic the toy rather, because the toy obviously doesn't pull out. None of the bow and arrows really pull out that much. So in in the show as well, it like it, oh yeah, it just holds it up and it does the thing. It it doesn't really. There's no action to it that I could see. I, it looks like he pulls back on it, but it's from such a remove that who knows. He pulls it back like an inch, maybe. They're not gonna like sell the that prop as the, that's not the prop. That's the actual toy they're gonna sell us like later this year. <laughs> oh, I mean, if it was the actual toy, it would that would be a pretty impressive size wise. But other than that, no. <laughs> oh no, it's the the you know the cosplay toy. Ah, uh, like I the Geo Sword that we're getting. Yeah. Wait, is that a full size Geo Sword? Yes. I thought that was just. Oh. I thought that was just normal size Geo Sword. Nah. Oh. Okay. Nice follow up. Full size, that's neat. All right. Anyway, so he blows up Monster of the Week using a tornado attack, even though we just had a combo that was all tornado attack. But whatever. And he gets the Mushroom Fang. Hooray. And then random dude of the week gets like pinned to the wall with burners. I don't know what they're planning on doing with him, but whatever. I got stopped from doing my ult and then blam. And then oh remember we have we gotta introduce two monsters a week because we have a lot of chemis to cover. Oh we got submarine guy for some reason. He shows up. He was in a minor scene earlier where he was just stalking Rene around. Yeah. Uh, but now he's here to, I don't know, I guess, in front of all these people. Um, okay, dude. Yeah, he never really does his uh, monster prerogative thing where this is why the monster exists. He just goes after What's-Her-Face and she's like, no, kya, don't touch. And then and then he gets bullied. And it's like, why did you even show up? So are all, oh, yeah. so, so is it Dan uh, Schneider then? <laughs> oh, I was in poor anyway, taste, but you know what? I'm not. I don't regret it. I wasn't gonna touch it anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, here to beat him up is a uh, Valverad, aka Kurogane Spanner. He shows up because apparently we also have to debut his form this week because getting the one form from Gachard wasn't enough, I guess. So he shows up, uses Mad Whale, um. And he also uses Gust Shovel, kind of showing off his gimmick where he can, like, replace his arms with other other chemis. I don't know if he's limited to just vehicle ones or if it can be any. I don't know. Don't really know much about Valvarad yet, but he shows up, he shoots one attack, he blocks one attack, and that's it. That's the end of the episode. Yeah. Monster of the Week doesn't even blow up yet. The only <laughs> thing we know about Valvarad is he's not a common writer. He is not a common writer. He is a common senshi. Common warrior. Machine Chaser, but not as cool. Not as cool as Chaser. Yeah. I'll agree with that. I mean, I like the suit well enough. I mean, I like the uh, the wrench on his half of his face. I think that looks pretty neat, but otherwise, yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Gotcha. That's really it, though. That's the end of the yeah, episode. Yeah, that is, that is a gotcha. And of course, we save the, the best for last. King Oja, once again. Yeah! I tried to block like four times, but people kept doing their bursts at the end, but got interrupted. Whatever, it's fine. Frag, it's okay. Give me, give me your brain. We'll put it in the box until the show's okay, over. So we kind Commencing of hostilities. <laughs> we kind of forgot to cover the premiere of Act 2. Or season oh. two, whatever you want to call it, of King Oja. Yeah. So, very quickly, uh, the Bugnarok all get destroyed uh, by the new big bad alien monsters. They show up. The Galact Insects. Uh, who did? The Galact Insects, or whatever they're officially called in Japanese. Uh, the Gazundoids. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> I can't pronounce their name. So, it sounds like a sneeze. I don't even know. <laughs> Achu. Gazundoids. Anyway, it's been two years now. Thank you. Uh, Glad you got me. It's been two years now, and uh, 
Gira has decided to call a new peace conference together because it's been a while. Um, so we get a little upkeep check in on each of the kingdoms, and none of the original kings are in there. Instead, it's their age. So Sebastian is running Ichibana, um, and he's really fat now. <laughs> uh, Kuroda is running uh, Tofu, which he's fine. Tofu seems to be doing fine. Uh, Mofun is running. Uh, <laughs> Mofun is running Gokan, or at least uh, Morphonia wants to be Mofun because she puts Mofun on the chair with all the swords. <laughs> it's like, and she's just like, Mofun, do I have to go to the conference? Okay, thank you. And she's like, I ah, damn it, can't. he does not actually charge. <laughs> and then Shiokara is trying to run um, Inko Soba, but he gets no respect from his subjects. He gets no respect. They all they only want to follow Yanma. But Yanma's not there right now. Where are they? Hmm. So they all show up in um, they all show up in a uh, Shugodam and they do uh re they do an homage to the first episode with the procession of the kings, except nobody is watching them. It's just completely empty and they're just walking through this empty street. <laughs> no one cares. So they all head to the castle. Uh, obviously none of the actual kings are there because they're a little preoccupied. We find out what they did later. But now's not the time for Peaks Conferences, apparently. Now's the time for Fury of the Gods 2.0. So they hear some noises, head outside, and there's a whole swarm of cicada attacking the, uh, the city. And everybody is freaked the fuck out. Even uh, Kuagon. Kuagon. The, the Zords are all freaked the fuck out. They're like, oh god, he's coming. Who's coming? He's coming. Who? He... And that he is a uh, Dead Dujade. And this man, this man is fun. <laughs> I like him. I like him a lot. So he announces himself and then uh, Gary does his normal thing of mispronouncing his name and he, he's just like, uh, and he just snaps his fingers and meteorites rain down on the city. Get it wrong, it's Dugudeg Dujade. Get it wrong again, and I'll finish cleaning you up. Literally unpronounceable name. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so he's doing that. He's being menacing. We cut over. We see where the other kings are. Uh, they're in prison. They're in Gokon prison for some reason. And Garojim shows up and is like, Kings, please, we need you. Something is attacking the world, please. And they're just like, all right, well, guess we got to commit a prison break. And even Rita's like, well, we're going to have to pay for this later, but you know what? Sure. So they break out of prison. Uh, cut back over to uh, uh, Gira talking with our new god, our new big bad. He's basically a god. He just teleports everywhere, uh, and he takes Gira, and he shows Gira the sights in space on other planets that he's quote unquote cleaned up so basic gist he's a god uh the universe is too messy with life forms uh so he's got to clean it um and the way the funnest way he found to clean it is to get species to fight each other and eradicate themselves and they wipe out they wipe themselves out it's like it's like it's like setting a roomba you know <laughs> it's like automatically do all the cleaning for you And it turns out, uh, he's actually been uh, orchestrating the entire war between humanity and the Bugnarok this entire time. Uh, all the previous kings of Shugodom actually knew this. Um, Gira obviously didn't. But there was a vested interest in keeping racism going in the past previous millennia. So you get that... Uh, Thankfully, they also bring back Jeremy. Thankfully, Jeremy's not dead, but I don't know why they bother keeping Jeremy alive. But, you know, he's Jeremy. He's the GOAT. We need him. 
<laughs> exactly. Thought he was a spider. Uh, a spider goat. <laughs> a goat spider. Anyway. So Jeremy is also there. Uh, Doug it is just like, all right, so if you, as long as humanity keeps eradicating the Bugnarok, we'll be fine. I won't have to eradicate you guys. We cool, Gira? We cool. Uh, but Gira's like, uh, no, actually, we ain't cool at all, bro. You have just awakened the wrath of the Tyrant King. Prepare to die. Um, Doug it is just like, nah. Well, I expected this. So I sent all my guys to clean up the rest of the nation first. Uh, so we cut over to all the other nations, uh, Inkosoba, Ishibata, all them. All the random civilians are all wiped out, and we meet uh, the rest of the uh, of the jesters, as they're known. Uh, Gorma the ninja, or what's he? Gorma the dubious. Uh, Hirubil, Hirubiru, uh, the enticing. Uh, Minongan, the hidden. And then Kamijin the flamboyant. Uh, so that's our general generals for the next for the second half. Um, Dougie did it gives the ultimatum to Gira, like. So, I am a god. Dougie did is just like, all right, I'm a god. I toy with the the universe is my toy, my room. You will listen to me and worship me and follow me. Worship me with being, and Gira's like, no. And he does his, like, classic Gira Tyrant King laugh. Laugh in his speech, and it's great. We'll be the one cleaning you up. And we cut over to the rest of the nations, and the rest of the kings show up to defend their nations. Huzzah. And we got a worldwide roll call with everybody. Where you go nation by nation, they all do their, uh, pension and roll call. It's very fun. They show up. We get one-on-one -on -one fights for everyone else, but it's a two-on-one -on -one fight between uh, Gira, Jeremy, and uh, Dugadet. And honestly, and all the fights are pretty great. Um, <laughs> except for the Dugadet fight. The, Jeremy and Gira are just beating on this dude, and the dude just does not care. He doesn't even put up a fight. He just stands there, taking it. He's just like, hmm, my nails might be getting kind of long. Hmm. <coughs> so anyway, kings defend their nations. Uh, Dugudet is just like, all right, you know what? You guys have some funk. This could be fun. We'll talk more later. Have fun. And that's the end of the episode. Uh, but before we actually end the episode, uh, we get to see why all the other kings were in prison. So let's go through the rap sheet. <laughs> Jan Magast uh, was guilty of monopolizing global power output to develop his ultra his, uh, supercomputer throughout heaven and earth. This alone is the honored rig. So he's about to build the best gaming PC known to man. He did. He did build it. There you and go. That was the problem. He built it and he tried and he monopolized all the electricity. I mean, you got to <laughs> power it some of type world. of way. Right. Uh, Himenel was guilty of causing fires in neighboring countries after launching a 1,000 megaton firework. Hey, they were just celebrating uh, a good time, man. Things. It, yep. It, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kagaragi was. Arrested after his uh, subterranean tiller system, the Anteater, was weaponized. So, so who... as you do, so man's out here playing armored core. It's no big deal. So, uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, he made a no, war. Oh, just just the farm implements. I swear. He turned it yep, into yep. he turned it into a a war machine. Gotcha. Right, it, but no, it's 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 just a farm implement. I mean. Look at the scythe blades. They're just they're just scythe blades. Hey, ninjas use farm oh, tools. Oh, what's the, Come on what's now. What's the Gatling gun for? Oh, the Gatling gun is just for the pets. Don't don't worry about the Gatling gun. It's fine. <laughs> hey, listen, ninja weapons were you know farm tools at one point, so it's like you know. Exactly. It's all right. Uh, and the last one is Rita. 
Rita was guilty, was serving time in prison as a means of utilizing mandatory vacation time. Yes. <laughs> because how else is Rita going to go on vacation? She literally needs to be thrown in prison in order to take a vacation. Yes. Oh, uh, Rita's the best. All right. So that's the episode we missed. Uh, then 28 was the swap episode. We talked about that last time. Which connects into now the we get next to episode. 29. Why? Echo, you gonna join us? Y'all ready up so fast, I can't. Oh. So I'll be watching. It's just all, all good. Alright. Moving on to episode 29. So, Real the quick. was 28. Real quick. Oh. There's a Millennium Rod Complete Edition dropping in in uh, February in Japan. Oh, we talked about it already in a different podcast. Did we not talk about that already? No. Oh, we we not not on the podcast. I, okay. That that I remember. Yeah. You two could be married. You're, you're probably right about that. <laughs> Yay, Merrick, I guess. Question mark? Wing Dragon of Raw. Oh, great. I'm going to have to freaking memorize that speech. All right. All right. No, you're not. No, you're not. You don't want to be evil. <laughs> well, I'm sure that Rod actually just says the chant for you, so. <laughs> well, yeah. Unless you want to be the Seto Kaiba that had the, the, the Rod. That's fine, then. Oh, right. The... It was just Seto, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So that little bit of extra news out of the way. Back to episode 29 of King Ogier. So, when we last left off after the uh, body swap episode, um, all the aides showed up, uh, just appeared out of nowhere, blocking the attack that was about to finish off one, the ninja dude. Um, so the king stopped their attack, and they're like, oh, shit, that was a close one. You guys got to move out of the way. Uh, but instead of moving out of the way, they uh, the aides stabbed the kings. Or, let's see. So Morphonia stabs uh, Yanma. Uh, Shiokara smacks Rita with a baseball bat. Uh, Garojim uh, just claws uh, Gira. Kuroda j double slices Himeno, and Sebastian just single slices Kagaragi. Duga tries to uh, slash at Jeremy, but Jeremy blocks it because, you know, Jeremy's a goat spider. So Jeremy's still standing. Uh, all the all the aides, though, come to their senses suddenly, and they're like, wait, what the fuck just happened? What, what did we do? Oh, God, why is everyone dead? So, turns out, that was the work of our second general, uh, Hirubiru, or Hillbill, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, she has the ability to uh, basically mind control people. She just tells people what she wants them to do, and they're forced to do it. They're forced to comply. Oh, no. So, while everyone else is recovering in uh, Ishibata... Jeremy heads back to his throne room, which, by the way, first time we see uh, Jeremy's throne room. I like it. It's a nice big old cave. I like the blues. And also Tarantula is just chilling in the corner. Doing Tarantula things. But Jeremy's there. Uh, Hirobiru shows up. Explains what her deal is. Um, murders a bunch of random Bugnarok mooks along the way. Oh, so sad for the mooks. <laughs> uh, Jeremy goes to fight her, but uh, she says something along the lines of, uh, please don't bully me. And Jeremy is unable to then bully her. It is unfortunate. But she gets away. Uh, but we see her handiwork. She went around to all the various kingdoms um, and implanted it in Basically, just random people around the kingdoms, like, uh, defeat your enemies, or something like that. So now, a bunch of high-ranking people in all the kingdoms are 
turning against the rest of the nations, and diplomatic relations between all the kingdoms are breaking down. Oh, no. So once all the kings recover, they're, they try to figure out what the situation is. Uh, everything's breaking down. All the aides are currently, like, imprisoned in the various countries because, you know, they try to murder people. <laughs> they try to murder the kings. So everybody is upset. Uh, Gira calls a peace conference once again. Unfortunately, they are unable to reach Jeremy, so it's just going to be the five main ones. So he calls a conference. Uh, what is Jeremy doing? Jeremy is just being Spider-Man, you know, sitting on a rooftop, contemplating his plans. Uh, talking about how much he loves Sarah with his uh, his mate, Garo Jim, his aide. So they do that, and the kings come to a plan. The kings are all like, all right. Here, the kings all go to the various aides that are currently imprisoned. They're like, okay, here's the plan. Uh, we're going to take the rap for this. We're gonna. The story is going to be the kings, uh, in their senseless desires, try to monopolize all of Terra's wealth. But you guys, the retainers, uh, saw this, realized the plot, and tried to, tried to struck, strike down the kings to save the people. So we will abjugate power to you guys. You guys will be the kings. We'll go on the run or be charged for our crimes or whatever. And all the aides are like, no, oh, please, you can't do this. We need you. And they're like, nope, it's already been decided. So they leave behind their uh, royal uh, crowns and stuff, the symbols of authority to their various to their various uh, predecessors. Or I guess descendants, whatever you call that next in line. Heirs, there we go, that's the word. To who will be their heirs. So they do that. Y'all they already all meet up, up so in... fast. Yeah. <laughs> They all meet up in Goku in a Chugodam, not Goku, Chugodam. And they like they start the big old press conference. Like, all right, we want to address the stuff, recent news about uh, what has been happening with Osama Sentai King Ozer, uh, specifically the attempted assassination. And the truth is, before he can say what the truth is, Jeremy shows up and silences them all. And Jeremy's like. Ah, uh, yes, the truth is, I am behind it all. I am the mastermind this whole time! What? And then Garojim shows up behind and is like, Ah, uh, yes, we've all been fools, see? I can transform myself into everyone. It was I who tried to murder you. Yes, we've had the web pulled over your eyes this whole time. You've all been in caught in my trap. Spider puns and whatnot. <laughs> Caught in the web of lies. And I shall rule over all of Terra. Now dance like puppets in my strings. Wahahaha. <laughs> and so all the people are now rallying against uh rallying against Jeremy and against the Bugnarok. Thanks, hat guy. Racism has been restarted. Oh no. Thanks, heck, uh, There are a turn. few people who question it, like uh, Gira's normal Renu, uh, Boon and uh, Kagane, the people from the orphanage. But they're they're not able to stop this. They know but the now truth. the people have been united. Uh, Jeremy shoots the camera that's broadcasting the conference. And he just takes a breath and he's just like, ah, all right. All you guys need to do now is dispose of the bad guy, and that's a wrap. Uh, Rita. Yo, uh, thanks, thanks for us. thanks for joining, Zedge. Appreciate it. Hey, you, thanks Zedge. for joining, Zedge. Hope you had fun. Yeah, whooping frags, but it's mine too. All right. Anyway, Jeremy is like, Jeremy's like, all right, gotta dispose of me. Rita, all the bo all the rest of the Bugnarok are underneath uh in the caves underneath Gokon. Please take care of them. I'm not gonna be able to do much for a while. Uh, and they're like, Jeremy, there, there's there got to be a better way. Isn't there? And Jeremy's like, what, oh, and Gira, what about all you worked for? 
Jeremy's just like, well, if all of Terra is destroyed, we're going to lose it all anyway. So we got to get our priorities straight. Uh, specifically, uh, Jeremy pulls out the line like, it's going to take more than dreams to resolve this. You can't solve this being an idealist or something like that. Yeah, he had calling to learn that the hard way. Yeah, calling back to his own character development there. I really like that. We can't save the present. There is no future. So we got to defeat uh, Doug and Dead, and then we can fix everything else. All right, anyway, he turns the camera back on and it immediately explodes, <laughs> or pretends he explodes. His fallback is, oh God, the Royal Sentai, they're so powerful. But this isn't over yet, I swear. I will return. And then Jeremy just pieces out. And the people cheer. Um, and we see the people who were affected by the brainwashing, and they're no longer affected because they fulfilled the goal. They defeated their enemies. Or their enemies were defeated, I guess. So. So that's convenient. Uh, but Hirobiro is not happy about this because this is too good of an ending. So, she goes to the comp to where all the kings are in the throne room, just of her own volition. She's like, Man, that was so weak. How can they believe such a crappy act? Um, and all the kings, meanwhile, are reminiscing about Jeremy's uh, original speech when he became king of the Bugnarok and the Sixth Kingdom and they did all that, where nobody cheered. He wanted peace between man and Bugnarok, but nobody cheered. And nobody clapped. So... And so the kings take it upon themselves to clap for the greatest Spider-Man that ever existed. Jeremy Idonrake Brassier. Yeah, not current Peter Parker. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. <laughs> I'm not sorry. So anyway, Gira is really fucking pissed now. He's he even got, like, the eyes. His eyes are literally flashing red. Great. <laughs> they all henchin. Gira doesn't even go into his gold mode. He's just in base form. That's yeah. how pissed he is. Yeah, he says, F the battle. I don't need no super form. I don't need that shit. You catching my hands. So he transforms. They go into the roll call. And then the, the five proceeds to really... It's a really good fight. I get they're not supposed to take uh, her down yet. Man, I wanted them to do a little better. But it's a pretty even fight, all things considered. So... It's even fight. They don't win. They don't lose. It's kind of just brought to a standstill until she pieces out. So. So we know who the weakest one of the group is, I guess. Maybe. I think she's she's probably the weakest physically of the group. I don't know. She threw hands. So Yeah. She did. But, but the other dudes are like... Well, I, I only say that because Gear wasn't powered up. He was just pissed. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Kama Jim's probably the weakest one. Kama you know what? Yeah, weak. actually, you're right. I take that back. Didn't he do like an orbital ion cannon strike like three times? Yeah, but he was oh, he was weak. in part he was in part one. Asked to do that. I think he just asked, I don't think he summoned this. He may have called for the strike, but I don't think he caused the strike. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he skewered people. He did skewer with people. a yeah, giant but thing. He was also in part one, and he almost died a bunch of times. This is true. <laughs> well, that's what he wanted you to think. You may be right he's on actually, that. I'm he telling you, dude, that. he's going to be the final boss. That would actually be pretty he, Tom sick. Tom and Jim is going to kill the god. And that, would, the that would that would kind of be try. sick. That would kind of be sick, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> he's going to try turn coding. He's a, he's a schemer. Yeah, he's the star that screen. Is. Oh, you're so right about that. He's going to succeed where, where my oh. homie from Care Major failed. <sighs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, they have opened the wound again. It's, it's, it, it was it's like, it was things. the perfect setup. And then they just robbed him. And I'm like, you don't have to do him like that. He, did, he didn't deserve He's it. He's far more engaging than the boss was. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so anyway, final scene of the episode. Uh, Jer Care Jeremy Major would have been a 10 everybody. out of 10 if he was the final boss. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely. 
Anyway, Jeremy shows up to Ichibata, because I guess everybody's just recuperating Ichibata. So he's there, kind of seeing them off one last time. Everyone else is sleeping, so. Oh. He just walks around. Frag, I'm uh, sorry. I, didn't just, like, I didn't die, it's fine. Garajim is just kind of like, do you regret all this? Becoming the, the big bad? And Jeremy's like, nah. No, this was worth it. Whatever peace we can muster for now. Besides, I waited 2,000 years. I'm not going to get impatient now. So he walks out. Before he leaves, uh, Gira quietly mumbles a thank you to Jeremy. And with that, Jeremy and Garo Jim just kind of walk off into the sunset. Or just the middle <laughs> of the day. <laughs> That's the end. Ah, oh, Jeremy! <laughs> Jeremy, no! Uh, but yeah, Jeremy Jeremy is now the public enemy number one. Ah. Uh, He's, he's out of all the... Two years to stop racism. Two years to stop racism. Ten seconds to bring it back. As Frank said yesterday. America. Or something like that. America. Never and, left, so. True, and never can, left. It doesn't, doesn't, really, doesn't really apply here. Sorry. America. I wish. Merc. Anyway. Uh, what was I saying? No, that's <laughs> Jeremy is definitely one of the more likable six ranger extra heroes that we've received. Yeah, since. he was <laughs> like he he barely even has an episode where he's not on side. He's like on side before the rest of the team are on side. <laughs> right. By a couple thousand years. Sort of makes me wonder why he didn't warn everyone about Space God. He didn't know about he that. Knows. Yeah, he didn't know about that. Oh my god, I just realized that I am playing this suit and not something else. And I don't know how to play it anymore. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at in King Oger. Man, King Oger doesn't peak, miss. Peak Oger, bro. Absolutely. And I've, I, re I re watched uh, this week's episode as well because the subs came out early. Uh, oh yeah, man, so was, it does not miss. Remember the schedule change? I guess that really did go into effect. Oh, it did. Or somebody's moving extra fast, and I'm like, I'm digging it. That's right, I have to do side that shit. Uh, oh. Um. No! Let's go tennis! Y'all were right there, and then he just said, <laughs> "Absolutely not." Teleport. Like I know what you're talking. About. I'm trying to find where they. Alternatively, that one scene from uh, Hawk the Slayer with mm -hmm. the, uh, the wizard who casts magic missile, and it's just like a lot of super balls. It's hilarious. Glow in the dark super balls, so they're just bouncing all over the place. Belting, Hit me with that nothing personnel, kid. I mean, nobody <laughs> teleported. We just, uh, you know, you opened up. Now it's like here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna serve you some tennis balls. A lot of them. They glow. Sure, Kendrick. Esports. Oh, we're gonna die. We still don't have a sports theme Sentai. Or Rider. Everyone thought it that would happen. No, nah, don't worry. We have another build. He's sports themed. What? It, his thing was just taking sports. Stuff. Oh, another build as in like the yeah. monster from Geo. The basketball one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Echo, did you post that thing about the time change in the Discord at all? Yes. Do you know where you post? No, <laughs> or how long ago? No. It's trying to look for information on that. Well, I'll, I'll look for it again. It's kind. Of, I was trying to confirm or deny. And if it didn't, hey, they're working faster. That's all that matters. The subs are, 
I'm just gonna get shot, apparently. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no! Wait. Woo! That's my fault. I did go. You did go. Still trash at the game. He says, getting. Because uh, it's facts! <laughs> anyway. So. That pretty much wraps our show up. Basically, yeah. yeah. So what we got planned for this week? Is is that for me? Okay. Well, that was that, the floor uh, was open to anybody, but you know. Okay. Jukebox, what do you have planned for this week? Um, existing. Uh, that's uh that's a start. <laughs> That's a start. That's a good place to start. That's a that's a way to open this. existence is my only plans. Oh, uh, I guess on a more fun note, Echo, did you start uh, New Game Plus in sixteen yet? No. Oh, I have. I have. Is it it's <laughs> there's so much more game. Like, <laughs> oh, the okay. Added... So like, quick sixteen spoilers. Um. The whole crafting system is like re uh, is upgraded now, so you basically do all your crafting again. Except this time now, if you get two of the same accessory, you can put them together to create one better accessory. So that's neat. That can be full power, Clive. Yeah. Right. Uh, but you also get like all your um, because you know how it was plus one plus two before. Now it goes up to essentially plus five. And the plus five weapons are so much stronger. Like even the ultimate weapon from the first playthrough. I have, I'm done. It is no longer the strongest weapon around. Mildly sad. <laughs> Shit. You get an upgrade. Oh. Bully baddies with the wooden sword mark seven. Oh. <laughs> Finally, top of the scoreboard. Um, so for my bit, we will do a Mobile Suit Monday, I guess. I'll try to do that. All right. Let's make this last match um, good. Okay. And um, I'll be doing... Uh, I'm doing double duty on Armored Core 6 because I've got to I've gotta get at least a new game plus in the near future. I'm like, I need to make some headway. We're <laughs> almost there. Oh yeah, I'm on the last chapter, so it's not going to be a problem. Hey, if you if you want to share your build secrets for Armor Core, uh, um, do so. Zims and whatever you want to Zims and songbirds. <laughs> it's like it's it's it's. I mean, okay. So you mean for PvP or for the actual game? Uh, the actual game, you can drop those. Because ninety percent of the game is like as soon as you have shotguns, use them. As soon as you have a heavy hitting, <laughs> um. Oh, he's trying to distract me. You're on my team, bro. You don't want to distract me. Oh, we're on the same team? That's, that's... Yeah, because we're going to have to do the rematch boogie now. Um, no, we're not. I have work tomorrow, but uh, again, we'll see if I can make that. Uh, yeah, yo. I believe that hit me. Yeah, society. <laughs> You took one out. one out. I forgot to send you allies. I'm sorry. Yeah. Here's what I think about your war crimes. I'm sorry that you got hit by his war crimes, <laughs> but uh.
No, I'm dead. Oh no! It's not your fault. Yeah. I wasn't supporting good enough. It's okay. We can hit the stream now. <laughs> I don't. Nah, man. Nah, rematch. <laughs> <laughs> I will not take it beyond uh... ten minutes. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, uh, yeah, talk us out to things. Yeah. I don't. I don't know, guys. I I don't know. So, how are we feeling about Gotchard and Blazar? Uh, I'm I'm waiting for Gotchard to start cooking. Yeah. Right, yeah. That that simplifies it for me too. Like I'm trying to, I'm just trying to manage my expectations. Like the the pre pre release setup didn't really thrill me. I'm like, oh, not blown away, but whatever. Maybe it'll be just fine. That's okay. I'll take a just fine series. But so far, it's it's, it's fine. It's like it's not really doing anything to wow or or overwhelm. The suit looks pretty pretty good. The action sequence have been okay. Feels like an early Heisei series, honestly. Well, um, um, second phase. I'd say I like say. a. Oh, okay, yeah. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, like a post, uh, post double, post deno, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's. Feels like it would fit in with yeah. Wizard or, um, not Wizard. Wizard's a bad example. Uh, Force. <laughs> Are you sure about that? This is very magic like. Well, if four, if four is wizard, and wizard fuse together, wizard we would have was this. boring as shit. So <laughs> I'm hoping it's not like wizard. All right, fair. Oh, did I shoot uh, my teammate again? Oh my god, he just tanked that. Oh no! That's not good. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Woo! That wall said, I'm coming for that booty. Then Echo said, I'm coming for that booty. And so there was booty. Got. There's enough Shrike team for all of you. It's fine. <laughs> no, no, we're done. We're done. We gotta end the show. It's over, okay? Show's over. I readied up. Hit <laughs> that ready up button. I gotta play double X before I go. Yeah. Well, how we feel about Blazar? And Peak, well, we already consider King Oger to be Peak, so... Very good. Blazer is is the king Oger of Ultraman right now. It's is the best <laughs> Ultra series in ten years. Like not even a question for me. It's just it's just that good. I've been enough. enjoying it. So I far. will say since I, I did see I'm it. not sure if I call it number one I've watched yet, but we'll see how it is in the end. So I have a lot less Ultra experiments experience in Fragnos, so. <laughs> Oh, why would I jump into that? Echo out here threading the needle. Uh, oh, jeez, you have a Rafe on your team. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm out here, I'm like, why are things shooting at me from weird angles? Not the angles. Oh, God. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> Get him on me! Thank you! Oh... Oh, 
I forgot to use my rider kick. I gotta shout out my moonbeam. <laughs> Did you jump to the sky first? A jump to the sky turns into a rider kick. Yeah, uh, I was working on it, but uh, <laughs> I, I I forgot. Uh, all right, that's it. That's it. Sit. Show's over. Show's over. GGs, everybody. It was fun. <laughs> GGs. GGs, everybody. Manana. We'll catch you on the Probably next start around 7 Eastern Eastern Daily Time or Standard Time, whatever time zone we're in. I don't even know anymore. Central. Come I'm on. Central. You guys are who knows what. Something like that. Eastern. I don't, I don't know what it is after the equinox anymore I, uh, life's too brain what yep <laughs>